Glasgow ball, George Horn. And now here's Jackson. Good turn of pace and a good angle, and that's a good line from Craig. It's a brilliant line, and it's back inside. He's already got one, and here comes the second from George Horn. Oh, that is fantastic play from the Warriors. Breathtaking stuff. The angles are running the support on the shoulder time and again. Wonderful from Craig. Against Ulster when they had lots of the ball as well, so they don't shy away from the work. Munster, though, are in full flight now. Free-flowing, fluid rugby. A herd to O'Brien. Back inside for Nankaville. Support left, support right. Nankaville takes it on. Eight metres shy. Casey on the blind side. Bar it in. Oh, Munster have come under the blocks at breakneck speed in court. Dupree handled the ball well. So too Cummings and this time Nathan Macbeth. Looking to suck in Munster and Arrow and then spray the ball wide with a couple of passes. And Stafford McDowell, lovely footwork and good hands. And Johnson, oh, that's magnificent. Forbes will canter in for the bonus point try. And Glasgow, what a performance. But it's available for Casey and off they go again. Crowley, lots of options. Daly just chips one across. Tom Ahern, six foot nine, is a good man to be lurking in those wide positions. He was taken in the air. It might not matter. He drives for the line and he gets all the way to the line. That is a brilliant finish. I think he's lucky in terms of. I wouldn't be surprised if that's looked at. Fagerson pulls it out the back. This Advantage is lovely play. One. Fraser Brown, nice and flat inside. McDowell for the line here. He'll be difficult to stop. Two Munster players get there. Can they hold him up? The referee is there. The assistant is right beside it. It looked like he must get it down. Behind. But that's poor defence by Munster. So Buckley to Witcherly and Finning Witcherly to John Hodnett looking for that short pass on the inside. Maybe the pathway to the try line blocked off by the referee momentarily. Munster no. thought not to use it. Huge space out wide for Casey's pass to that man Nash. And does he deserve that try? And Munster get their bonus point score. And there's a, a little bit of niggle and afters in the corner. Jackson doesn't get too far before he's hounded down by Niall Scandal. I think it was Fagerson over the top. That's inventive and ambitious, and it may pay dividends because here come Glasgow with those little combinations and horns away here, and he steps on the gas. Can he make it all the way to the corner on the slide? Try that. Yes, he can. It's a try for George Horn, and that is a real shot across the bows for Monster, and that is symptomatic of the ambition and the creativity of Captain. this Glasgow Captain. Warrior side. Oh, Gavin Coombs is away here. No real support on his shoulder. But look where they find themselves again, Munster. Deep inside enemy territory with numbers to the left-hand side. Tom Ahern finishes it like a winger. His first start after making his debut in Belfast a couple of weeks ago. Stewart now to Kennedy and through the gap. It's really well worked. Tommy Seymour, can he find the man with the pass? Not quite, but he gets it over to his opposite winger and Robbie Nairn, who breaks two tackles, gets the pass on as well. And that is some response from the Warriors. Well, much to their annoyance, such was their dominance in the game in round two, that 25 points to 10 game. They didn't get a bonus point in the second half, having scored three tries advantage in the first half go. against Munster. Penalty advantage. There's another penalty advantage coming now as the penalty count tots up as I said 26 in the last two matches against Munster it is a problem and there's a shot to nothing here and they will get that bonus point try and it is a try we've had two from George Horn now we've got one from Peter Horn